I've been like crying all morning and all night. Sorry if my voice is a little shaky. Misty's right there. She's just resting. This would be kind of a hard video to get through. So we just got back from the doctors. I've been noticing some changes in Misty's behavior and I also noticed that she had like swelling or irritation in her genital areas. So I took her to the doctors yesterday and they said it could be possible pyometra. It's basically infection in the uterus. But in order to get a proper diagnosis, I would have to take her uh, to some kind of specialist uh, to get her an ultrasound because not everyone does ultrasounds. So I tried calling uh, other vets in my area and they were gonna charge like an arm and a leg and they were booked up. We weren't gonna be able to see anyone until two months out. So infection in the uterus, it's a pretty serious disease or illness. Could be fatal if it's not treated promptly. So I went to another doctor to get a second opinion and we just got back today. They're a more affordable clinic and they actually have some specialists coming in today. So I'm on call until they arrive later today and we'll be able to get a clear picture of what's going on. He says it could be pregnancy, it could be some type of infection. At this point, we don't know. I don't like to cry in front of people. I want this channel to be happy and fun and upbeat, but sometimes life just happens. We all live with trauma that we suppress and doesn't resurface until situations remind us again in its various forms. And I feel like I'm living it again because i experienced uh, a recent pet death earlier this year and unfortunately we ended up having to put her down after going through so much and all the treatments and i still had the financial debt afterwards to remind me every day basically i love all my pets to me they're like my children. I even went as far as to pay so much money, like $200 to save one of my chickens life after Misty, my Rottweiler, got into the coop and thankfully at that time I'd gotten there in time and was able to save her. I bandaged her, took her to the, to the vet and we took the medication route so I still ended up having to do all the treatment myself, bandage changes, bandage wraps, trying to look for natural remedies, honey and whatnot. And I've never seen a chicken fight so hard for its life and she survived but unfortunately she did pass away and I didn't want to make a video about it because I did cry and it's kind of hard to, to talk about these kind of things. But I promised myself that I wanted to make a video every day for the next 30 days, no matter how hard it was gonna be, no matter the challenges, even if it doesn't reach anyone, it's a goal that I want to accomplish. And, and so here I am, worried, freaking out. I'm trying to stay hopeful. I hope that it's just a fluke. It's nothing to be worried about, but it's kind of hard given my, my past experiences. I'm on call for the ultrasound today, so, I just have to wait it out until the specialists arrive at that clinic and take it one step at a time. So first they're going to rule out pregnancy with the ultrasound and take it from there. We might have to do blood work. This video is probably going to be all over the place. The changes that I've noticed in her are energy levels are a little bit low, lower than usual. She's been pretty snippy towards Lincoln, my Connie Corso, but not with Nixie, my Doberman. Like I said in the beginning, she has a swollen or irritation in her genital areas. The doctor did see or notice some discharge as well. Her appetite has been low, but it's kind of hard to tell with that because her appetite has been up and down since the summer started, so I'm not really sure. She just had a, a heat cycle about six weeks ago that lasted around three weeks. She's a year and three months old. I believe this is her second heat cycle, but I'm not too sure. It's kind of Hard to tell maybe with two female dogs her mood has been a little depressive lately but i still see her somewhat normal the first doctor wasn't able to tell um of any kind of swelling in her uterus she hasn't been in contact with any wildlife they weighed her she's 77 and a half pounds and she's a rottweiler probably a rottweiler mix and that's pretty much all the information that we have to work with i'm so sorry if this video is a downer but yeah that's that's where we're at right now i'll keep you posted tomorrow with any updates if you guys want to support i would appreciate a like um comments 
that really helps a person's channel <sighs> and i do consider myself a positive person so i'll stay positive and hopeful bye for now